African Kitchen TV. All African Kitchen TV is all about cooking African meals, specifically West African meals. She walks us through each step of a dish as she prepares it so you don't get lost as the video moves on. Sometimes there will even be a mukbang at the end of the recipe so that you can watch how good the food you don't make looks when it's eaten. Sometimes there will even be a cleaning video or a live stream thrown into the mix, but for the most part, it's all African Kitchen TV. This is organic cooking all the way to the baby food recipes. We're talking appetizers, soups, stews, a lot of great African home cooking when you're ready to switch things up a little bit in the kitchen. Want to see how she makes meat pies? Is it the same way you make yours? Might be worth looking into, especially if you want to learn some recipes designed for microwave cooking. Because YouTube isn't just for sharing a recipe for all African Kitchen TV. It's about connecting with others through a meal. She also shares her story and how she began living in Italy in a, about a very unstable time in the jungle. Between the cooking, the live streams, and the healthy lifestyle videos, All African Kitchen TV makes time to visit a lot of her subscribers' videos. So go ahead, connect over a meal with All African Kitchen TV. Lee's Arkansas Bound. Lee's Arkansas Bound packed it all up and moved to Beverly. Well, <laughs> backwoods Arkansas is close to Beverly Hills, right? So this sort of indie, sort of archy bunch is getting an Arkansas homestead put together and they're starting from timber and brush is not easy. Mainly because they have a three mile long driveway. But it's fun taking the trash to the curb over there. Can you imagine being chased by Bigfoot out there? <laughs> Your chances of falling down and like being turned into Sasquatch poo dramatically increases for every half a kilometer of driveway. <laughs> They're getting things done their way at Lee's Arkansas Bound and there's always something to do. Like putting down cement. This reminds me of something. That's a huge job. When they take breaks from the building process, they're into other fun things like gardening and strange gravel dancing. Oh, and shout outs. Lee's Arkansas Bound are your people next door, if your door is miles from your nearest neighbor. And while they're building their homestead from the ground up, they have the same issues as everybody else who's been up and running for some time. So when you run up on their latest videos, give them the old howdy neighbor, or whatever you people say to each other, and ask Lee's Arkansas Bound if bound means like moving toward or tied to it. <laughs> Mike Umphrey Way to Go Kennels. Mike Umphrey says he's just an old country boy who loves hunting and fishing. And live streams. I'm not sure he really loves gardening. I think that's his punishment for an unsuccessful hunt or something. <laughs> Good thing there's the dignified spook to help keep Mike out of the garden as much as humanly, I mean, doggedly possible. But before we hunt, let's talk to Mike a little bit. About what? Well, anything you want. There's lots of live chats to fill in the times when there's no baying in the woods. I'm not sure if Mike Umphrey ever sleeps. Live streams in the daytime, hunting at night. He remembers everything about everyone's channels too. What do you think about that? And not only is he in his live streams, but I see him in a lot of others' live streams also. That guy sure does get around. So does Lily, but we ain't talking about that right now. <laughs> Most of us aren't there for the shout-outs, although it's a good way to connect and cross over your circles. We're there for the dogs, or the rodent taste test. Look at the look on Austin's face. <laughs> Sheer apprehension as he tears into the groundhog fritters. I'm 99% sure he's telling the truth when he says it tastes like rabbit. But then there's that one teeny little percent that says it's an overgrown tailless rat. <laughs> so yeah, they hunt all kinds of critters on the ground, in the trees, and in the water. But Mike Umphrey Way to Go Kennels gets most of his action at night. How else is he going to get some barbecued trash panda? 
Yep, a lot goes on after dark over there, and that's when the dogs stop being eye candy and the serious work starts. That is a lot of Davy Crockett hats right there. Oh, did I mention Mike likes to take us on live stream rides with him? I think he rides at night and chases the raccoons by himself without the dogs, but I'm going to let you see that for yourself. I'd love to say this channel is for everybody, but it's not. I'd also love to say no raccoons are harmed in the making of any of his videos, but I can say they're all in a better place now. Mike Umfrey guarantees it. Okay, maybe not. Every time Mike Umfrey hits the woods, another raccoon gets his wings. <laughs> but if you like coon dogs hunting and fishing, Mike Umfrey is the way to go. See what I did there? <laughs> Organic African cooking homesteading from the ground up, hunting with dogs and nighttime vlogs. Are these your people? <laughs>